What is going on, everybody? Bobby Five, man, Eric G. Tabor. We're going to be talking about tonight's baseball slate. Uh, it's uh, Thursday. It's a smaller slate, but still big tournaments out there. And there is always ways we can get different on these tournaments. And Sheets was talking. We didn't talk much about a pre-show, but you said you mentioned that you had an OK night last night. But you, you were yeah, playing out. I want. Yeah, I want to I want to talk about that. First of all, I did. I did pretty decently in the day slate as well um, uh, with the. Uh, I, I, I hit those Washington Pittsburgh guys decently. Um, and I, I made I a couple of thousand actually in the, uh, in the afternoon slate or whatever mm-hmm. that was called. And then in the evening slate. So again, I came out to the, um, I came out East. So I wasn't able to like talk to you about the slate. You know, I didn't go on the discord, didn't go live. Obviously I just ran my projection. Then I just kind of started building lineups and stuff like that. And I put in some stuff and then in the, this is like a crazy, crazy lineup. So, so I, um, the, the, obviously the plays were like, um, I guess the chalky and the good plays were like Otani pitching. And then I guess Hunter Green, I would imagine he was popular, but then uh, Alcantara and I had, I had, I had those three and Kopech as my four pitchers that I was going to use. Right. Mm-hmm. And I was going to say, you know what, I'm, I'm not, I'm going to play, I'm going to play some Dodgers and I'm going to find some other bits of leverage maybe to go in. So I want to I want to show you what it came up with. So I, I had a I had a lineup in the 250, right? The four max, mm-hmm. which I was literally one strikeout away from like winning the whole thing, oh. right? But wait, so it's like so funny. I'll show you the lineup. This is really nuts, all right. And it's a good example of kind of like like what not to do in like a tournament like this. Okay. Um, let me just see. Uh how do I share screen? Uh okay, uh share screen. Uh okay. So this is kind of nuts when you think about it, right? So I went for some anti-Manoa leverage, right? And I pick at Verdugo and Cordero. Oh, you got to pause this. I'm yep. sorry. So I got some crazy leverage with like Verdugo and Cordero and the and Sanchez for the Red Sox like against mm-hmm. Manoa. Mm-hmm. I got the bottom of the lineup and they freaking smashed, right? And I used... Green and Kopech, okay? Kopech was literally a strikeout away from, like, winning the slate, this slate for me, but instead he gave up a single and a three-run homer. You know what I mean? Like, Right, right, right. <laughs> that was the end of that. But like, the reason why I bring it up is when I looked at listen, I didn't pay much attention to what stuff I put in what, right? And, like, this is a perfect example of, of having way too much stuff crap going on you know what i mean like if i'm gonna play like red Sox against toronto against a 25 percent on manoa i don't need to fade otani for example you know what i mean like right. i don't need to fade them i didn't need to do this you know? right it was a little <laughs> maybe a little bit much but then again it, it, it still kind of almost worked it allowed you to get the bigger bats and the expensive ones for the dot you know right. what i mean but but this is a perfect thing to put in like the lottery you know what i mean i don't need this in the, in the 250 if you want right the right right you know I hear what you're saying so that was, I, I just found that I just found that interesting. Yeah, um, yeah, and it's and, and 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 by the way though, it is it is. I mean, it would feel different though if you got those two strikeouts. You'd feel you know you you would have won the tournament. Or yeah, but I still game. wouldn't have. Uh, I still would have said the same thing. Yeah, I and know you would have. I know you know. I really I have to you know I have to not to put this uh, out there because I people don't want to hear about our side stuff. But um, but I got I got one of your friends. I, he got a little mad at me. He got a he got kind of a taste of dealing with sheets like your your friend that's helping us with the uh, with the other project. Yeah. Um, so he congratulated me, like, and he said it in a nice way. Say, hey, congratulations. I heard you did, heard this or whatever. And he called me in one of those sheets moods. I'm like, mm-hmm. don't congratulate me. I didn't do anything. The freaking guys hit the ball, you know, uh, whatever. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't do freaking <laughs> anything, you know? And so he, he called me in one of those, like, one of those oh, moods. Wow. Like, he's like, well, dude, I mean, like, there are people that would sh- trade to be in your position. Like, no, no, I know. I know. I get it. You know what I mean? It was, it's just in one of those, like, uh, one of those, like, uh, dude, you, know, you can't be happy winning, you know, what are you doing? You know what I mean? So, <laughs> right. All right. Um, so that, that was my, that was my story about yesterday. Nice. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm willing to go on to, to today, yeah, let's but, do it. um, you gotta bear with me just cause I only have one screen. Okay. So I have to, um, yeah. I have to navigate there. Well, I'll bit. take the time while you go through it to just remind everybody that it's a six, eight, 6 PM start on DraftKings tonight, uh, 7 PM on FanDuel. So we do have a little bit of a difference there. So, I will be live at five Eastern and I don't think it'll be live again for the FanDuel one, but I'll cover all my FanDuel thoughts on the five Eastern. And if sheets can join me great. If I don't think it's going to happen, 
So I'll do it myself. So it's possible because of the time. Like if you're going on at five, for example, yeah. um, I, we have a shot. Have yeah, a shot. great. Okay, cool. Um, so let's, so uh, t today's slate, listen, it was um, the uh, three, three, four days in a row of Dodger chalk. I have to say that I'm happy I finally cashed on it. You know what I mean? Like finally I is. Today. Um, but uh, today, I think, I think it's, it's the, the exact opposite. I mean, we'll get, we'll get to it, I guess, when we go game by game. But um, yep. for me, the hitting is kind of spread out and me, the pitching is kind of chalky and concentrated. So we'll, yep. uh, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll take a look at that. Yeah, I think you're right about that. Um, let's jump into it with the Braves and uh, Phillies here. I personally, uh, I think that it's, you know, it's on this, these slates, it's hard and it's hard not to make a good case for Nola. I'm, I almost got my stock myself into maybe a long shot Ian Anderson play just for what you're saying to get weird. But I think that Nola is pretty clearly the number one pitcher on the slate. And if you're not going to play Anderson, I do think that, and I don't think Anderson's like a great play of some sort. I just think that there is enough upside for low ownership on a small slate at 7,200. But I, I think the Phillies are, are, are completely viable. I don't know about fully stacking them. Maybe I will. I'm, I'm sheets missed yesterday when I was sort of ranting a little bit about the, uh, the not fully stacking. Oh yeah. Uh, I was going to fight you on that. I'm so I, I'm fight me on it all you. you want. The guy who just won the million dollars had no more than two players in the same lineup uh, from a team. No, I know and, that, you know, because what's the name? What's the name? Rody and I were talking to someone else about that like hours before. Yeah. And um, and we were taking the opposite view. Like, we don't care who won it. You still shouldn't be playing that way. Well, that's the weird part, because Rody always loves to study who wins it. And with these five mans and all this. And the truth is, 90 percent of these lineups are five mans or at least four man pluses. And right. if you have less than one percent of people entering tournaments that are actually winning tournaments, we probably should be taking a note, especially as, because it supports a lot of what I say, because I in cor the correlation in baseball and especially this time of the year with the number of high strikeouts that there are out there yeah. with the lack of lack of actual hitting but but guys hitting just home runs instead you really can do that if you want to and i would recommend not doing it on a big slate like that guy did as much but i don't think that we need to always get into just you know okay here's the five two one and because you just end up with like two duds in your lineup and it makes and it's we're playing the eight nine hitters and yeah there is some correlation to it if you're picking on a pitcher but the truth is everybody's still at the point of the season where they're putting their best foot forward. And it's just really hard to, to, to pick on teams that are not just giving up in games, unless it's already like nine, nothing in the third or something and, like and that. And meanwhile, we didn't discuss it, but in that Millie maker uh, when I, you, you would have been proud of me. I didn't, I didn't, I, I played one of those kind of lineups. I actually went oh, yeah? for something like, I'd like a three, two, two or a three, three, two or something like yeah. that. So, so yeah, it didn't quite work out, but um. I moved back yeah. 60 spots because of Trey Turner's home run. He hit the home run in the ninth inning, and I was in 30th place. Not that I was going to get anywhere, but I was oh, like, "Oh, wait a minute! I might have made money, right? I, I bought, uh, I bought some of that, right?" Oh, it ended up, it ended up like just barely like losing a tiny bit. Like, oh, like, I played, I played two lineups, and I was right. like 4,500 or something. So, I oh no, I lost the fortune. Damn it! Okay. <laughs> anyway, but back to the the, the Phillies. Yeah. I do think the Phillies are, are are viable. I think they're going to be pretty popular. Um, the one I, I think, well, Schwarber is going to be really popular. Um, and I think, and I'm fine with the Phillies. I, it's not my favorite spot, but I think that if, if you get some low ownership on, on Rio Muto, Reese Hoskins, Castellanos, uh, DD still, I don't think has hit a home run yet this year. So I might just have to just jump off this train that I keep trying to, to speak to, but maybe you, you, if you're going to make a five man, maybe you do play Bryson Stott would be my favorite, uh, at the bottom of the order to throw into a five man, but mostly it's a secondary stack for me. Sheets, how do you feel about this game? Well, you guys are lucky in res with respect that since I'm doing this from my laptop, um uh that uh you're gonna you're forced to kind of see all my 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 sheets and stuff like that because I usually keep them off on the side on my second monitor and I have the, the 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 DK thing on the left so I can but now I have to go back and forth with it. So again, this is for those of you that haven't seen this before. These are the sheets that I kind of put up on QDFS or premium subscribers. So you're getting kind of a free look at this today. So when when it comes first of all to pitching, yes, I agree. I think that um uh, I know is, is, is in the top pairing for me. Um, and we'll get to the second one later yep. and he's going to be highly owned, but I think it's fine because I think there's about just a, a ton of, of ways you can go hitting wise today. Um, so I, it's interesting that you think the Phillies are going to be popular because I have them. I don't think the like, Phillies are going to be popular. I think Hoskins is going to be, I'm sorry. I think, uh, uh, Schwarber is going to be popular. I have them ranked like seventh, the Phillies. So I'm really not getting to them. 
Yeah, so, I don't think they're popular. That's why I like them. I think oh, I thought you said I think the Phillies going to be so popular. I think Schwarber will be fairly owned. That's the only one who I really thought still. Okay. Out. Sorry about so that. So I'm kind of a, at least early look. I I would I would definitely listen. I'm going to agree with Nola, um, and I'll uh, you know I'll, I'll put the Phillies on hold as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, fair enough. Um, all right, let's talk about the next one, uh, Houston and, and your Yankees. This okay. Um, <laughs> I'm sort of. I, I like, <coughs> excuse me. I like Severino. <coughs> excuse me. I like Severino here. Um, for what it's worth, Garcia has been really good and is a good Houston bullpen. Houston gives up the fewest runs in baseball as a team um, this season. And I think Severino is a terrific play, even against a tough Astros lineup. Um, he he was he was he was dealing the last time they were playing. Uh, they just he had was. this match the other day, and then he got hit hit a little bit in the sixth inning, or maybe it was the seventh. Um, but I, I I'm into Severino today. I, I think you're going to get in some some conversations between he and Gilbert. Gilbert with a much better matchup. Severino I think just has the upside, and I think he ends up like probably a little bit lower owned than Gilbert or somewhere in that range. So I do think Severino and Nola are going to be a popular pairing, and I like Severino just fine. Uh, We're going to see if we can find some ways to get a little different later. And I'm not very interested in the hitting in this game. You can always take some shots with some Yankees should be a good, you know, these are good real life baseball games. They're fun. It's fun to watch the Yankees and and, and, uh, Astros, but I don't, I don't have a whole lot that I want here, except for you could just say that maybe we should just play judge every day, basically. (laughs) Until until he gets gets his 80th home run. I mean, like, yeah, (laughs) Yeah, maybe after he breaks the record for home runs, we can stop, but uh, Judge and Stanton both are pretty dialed in, and Rizzo is going to be low owned, and Rizzo has had a monster season. So those three guys stand out a little bit as one offs, but I don't think I want to stack the Yankees against Garcia and company, especially outside of Yankee Stadium. Yeah, this is um, again. I gotta come up with a name for this, but but this is this is the thing I talk about a lot. I think that both pitchers are are good enough to keep the other the hitters off my back, and I think that the hitting is good enough for me to keep the pitching off my back. I don't really like Severino tonight that much. Um, I, I, I think that this is again, just a kind of a good, uh, kind of a good baseball game, you know, Houston, uh, yeah, the Yankees just played against them uh, at home last week. Now they're going into Houston. I think this is good for, you know, good, good baseball. Yeah. Um, but I, I, I just, uh, I just presume not play any of this. Actually. The only thing I throw in about Severino is this again, one of the higher strikeout props on the slate and he's 9,100, which is a price we don't usually get him at, but again, I understand your point completely. So it feels like a stay away game for you. All right, let's talk about Milwaukee and Pittsburgh. And I'm just going to do a quick, as we go along the early, the morning weather check, uh, oh, yeah. 88, degrees, 88 degrees in Pittsburgh, which is nice hitting weather, two pitchers that we don't mind uh, taking bats against. Uh, I also think if you wanted to b- get a different type of build today, Pittsburgh strikes out enough where I think you could consider, I mean, Hauser's 5,400 sheets. Kind of. You know, the last time when we did a show, we were talking about Patrick Corbin and yeah. uh, Ross Stripling. Yeah, and so by the way, Cor- Corbin, Corbin only had, what, 85 fantasy points that game? And, 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 and by the way, I ended up by the end of the day, I even had him on FanDuel, which was pretty sweet because he was the top scoring pitcher and and literally differentiated my build. And I ended up, I think, finishing like 30th in that giant 150. It just needed, you know, needed. It's like, it was basically the lottery that day. Um, but I think that there's an argument here for for Hauser. And I'm not going to get to, to Brubaker. Uh I actually think he's been better than people realize this season. And I, and I, I could certainly see an argument for both these, just both these stacks because of the hitting, I don't think I'd want to fully stack a pirates team with a good bullpen behind them, but I think a three man is a nice little stack. You can get, you can certainly get to depending on how the lineup shakes out and you could do it very affordably. Um, I like this Madras guy. And then you've got Vogelbach who's uh, always going to be 2,600. And then you've got Van Meter uh, O'Neill Cruz, who's you know on his way to becoming an all-star already. If you read anything on Twitter, and uh, I, th- I just think it's, it's, it's a reasonable little spot. So I'm, in, I'm interested in both offenses as of right now. And I do like Hauser as a long shot pitching play. How about you? Yeah, Cor- Corbin tilted me that that remember Corbin was was 5400, whatever he was. That was the day of the of the of the of the big one. Yeah. And and I, I didn't know whether and I was I taught first. I'm like, you know what? He's going to be popular, you know, because he's showing up on my my board is like the second best point per dollar uh, play. And then at the end, I'm like, you know, maybe he won't be that popular because like people are afraid to play him. So I played him in that tournament and mm-hmm. I still didn't cash. So it was necessarily very tilting for me. Oh, my God. Um, yeah. 
And, and so anyway, um, uh, I don't like either of the pitching, but I'm, I'm getting actually Milwaukee as my, as for now, at least. Oh, interesting. One of my top ideas. Um, as you can rated, imagine, the ownership's coming with it too. Oh, you better believe it. <laughs> I'm looking <laughs> at that. Um, they're, they're, they're rating as the second highest uh, owned team as well. Um, uh, depending on which guys you take actually. But still not um, crazy high, right? It's pretty spread yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I do like them, but, but, you know, but Brubaker's not bad. You know what I mean? Mm. I, I, so, so I, uh, look, if, if they come with high ownership, I'll probably, you know, play less of them in the field. You know, again, they're just other, there's just other options. But again, the thing is, is that what I want to do pitching wise, I, I think you're going to have to save money somewhere. So, um, so that's why some of these Milwaukee guys, you can kind of play, I think. Um, yeah. Uh, and yeah, so Milwaukee, Pittsburgh, uh, they don't rate at the top of uh, value play on the slate for a change. I mean, they're, <laughs> they, I have them rated fifth now. And, and yeah, I think Cruz is, is certainly, you know, certainly a stud. And oh, and that was the other thing I did get right yesterday. Again, we, 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 we talked about this is that um, I don't know if we talked about this yesterday, but I went right back to Brian Reynolds and he freaking just destroyed. He just killed. Mm-hmm. Um, guy's good, man. <laughs> the guy's good against he's, he's lefties. He's awesome. I mean, yeah, you had three home runs. He's, he's I, I, yeah. you know, I'll take the victory lap on that one. I called that one two years ago. This guy's going to be yep. really awesome. He'll be an all star soon, and I think that he's on his way right now. Yeah, so, uh, I, I do feel good about that one. But yeah, so so you so you like so you like these guys. You like yeah. both guys. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, and I can definitely get behind it. I just again, I always want to recommend to people when you're going to play, especially if you're going to play like the lefties from from Pittsburgh, just keep in mind that it is you get basically an automatic three outs in the ninth with Josh Shader. Um, and you've got, a, you've got great setup men on both sides. So if the game is, but then again, if they've scored, you know, seven runs already off of Hauser, maybe it doesn't matter. So just, just that's why I'm, I'm, I'm leaning more towards a, a mini Pittsburgh stack, meaning three or four man, or maybe two man, even so like a little one, but I, I hear you. All right. Uh, Kikuchi and Whistler. Why don't you start this one off sheets? All right. I'm, a, I'm pretty much over seven in my, I don't care about the numbers. This is this is a BS situation uh, calls, but I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna give you this one too. Kikuchi is sixty seven hundred. Mm-hmm. Right, I'm trying. I I might have to try that. Um, and I, I'm not. I'm, I'm trying to find him in my numbers. I can't even find him. Um, has he like not gotten a guy out the whole season? Is that why? Is no, he he was actually going along smoothly, and then. He hasn't pitched more than he, pitched, he had two four inning outings. He hasn't had more than ten fantasy oh. points in about a month, a little over a month. Two um, innings he pitched. Oh, because he got killed. Yeah, because he got hit. Um, oh my god, he gets killed every game. He's been getting hit, and Tampa oh. Bay, as much as their lineup always looks weak, they somehow say, sort of manage to score five or six runs and win most games. I don't know how. Yeah, they do. all right, all right. It's a, you it's know a we step. might have to start playing though. Is this we have to talk about? Paredes for a minute this is a guy we didn't play because of lack of power then he had five home runs in three days just a week ago or a few days oh ago. he always hits a home run <laughs> he's just literally every time you look up and then he was batting ninth in those days it's, too. He it's, was the, like, it's the Joey Votto of 2022 he just yeah uh, he was the, the 0.1 percent owned guy that literally was somehow was on every winning lineup because he outscored most most team stacks um, right. um so uh, yeah Harold Ramirez and 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 uh Paredes uh, I actually think there's some interest there I think I I get that I can't I don't think I'm gonna get to Kikuchi no. But I do think that both of these offenses are in play. I just hate yep. – it's not a full a full slate, so stacking against a bullpen game, I don't mind doing as much. The problem is you're talking about arguably the best long bullpen in the world. This Tampa Bay team doesn't give up a lot of runs, and what they, they'll, they'll go two innings, three innings, two innings. They just have these guys. They pitch two or three innings, and it's just really hard to get into well, a rhythm. Hold on. Hold on. What, what, what bullpen? I have spring start. I have, I have, so I have Whistler, which means that it, it'll probably – wait, you have spring starting? Yep. Because Springs would have, would be the one they let go, but maybe they're going to do the Springs out of the bullpen thing. I don't. I just oh. have him starting. That's what I have in my. Okay. Well, let's. And dra- we'll, that's I have him in DraftKings. I mean, I don't know. That's what I'd be. Guessing. We'll have to put a pin in that one because that, that does, that does change things. Cause he'll at least have, they'll want him to get his 75 pitches, which I, as I pointed out the other night, sometimes that's a good thing. If it's a pitcher you want to pick on him with a team with a great bullpen, because that, that, that means that, even if he's struggling, they'll leave him out there because they want to keep those young arms in that same. He's 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 good, man. I agree. If he's playing, uh, I don't think I'm going to play him, but he definitely is. Uh, I think I, I, it makes me less interested in Toronto. But the but the thing about Toronto is, are they really going to be that owned today? And I don't think so. And it just so I you know again maybe this is a spot maybe this is a slate where I end up with taking some of my favorite bats because I I love Springer's price, I love Bichette's price, and I love Vlad's. Just I just love Vlad. Period. 
Um, so maybe a little three man. I think I can get behind a mini Toronto um, a lot easier than I can get to anything else in this game personally. Yeah, I have Toronto is tied with a whole bunch of teams for 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 being a good stack. Um, uh, Milwaukee, one of them. Yankees, I talked about. Yankees always, whatever. It's, even though you know they're a tough matchup, whatever. But um, yeah, uh, Toronto is, is 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 fine. I think if if Kirk gets in a catcher, I mean he's always he's always good for three home runs. You know, like yeah, like uh, yeah, right. He's you know, always good for three home runs. Right. You know what I mean? Like it's always yeah. always on the table. Um, but uh, yeah, Springs is Springs is you know, Springs is good. You know, he actually struggled a couple of innings uh, in his last in his last outing, but he got the strikeouts in the end. You know, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, I'm I, I'm ter- totally interested in Toronto and and you know, none of the pitch. Yep, and I, and I'm just gonna say I, I do like that 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 little Harold Ramirez Paredes combination for for Tampa Bay here. All right, so um, I presume the presumed wind's blowing out in Chicago. Is that the story? Yeah, you, you know when you see the total like this, it's, it's right. got to be, right? Um, I mean, I forget that. I'm, like, looking at my projections, and I see these guys, is like, ranked, like, one, two in, like, the stacks. I'm like, what? I'm like, so so I, I, it's the only explanation, right? Okay. Right, right. Yeah, so the wind's blowing out in Chicago. You've got you've got Hendricks and Ashcraft. Wait, H- Hendricks is, is 5-1, though. I know. And here's the thing that's he, here's what happened. Everybody stacked in the last game. That was a win game. And what did Hendricks do? He just completely shut down. Um, and it wasn't a win game. It was a heat game in St. Louis. And that was that he, he was like, literally like it was one of the top stacks with St. Louis. And he, uh, he just mowed him down. He didn't give up anything. Basically he gave up no earned runs, six, seven and a third, 28 fantasy points. He's five, one. It's, it's a really cheap price and he's facing Cincinnati. They can, you know, I, I, look, it's, 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 it's a win game. So it always feels a little nerve wracking, but he's definitely on my list. And I might do a Hendricks Hauser lineup just for giggles. Um, and I might even do it in some decent sized tournament, because I think that you can, I think that you could, you could, if you play those two guys, you could play your chalk favorite, just hitters everywhere, get the two and three mans down or whatever, right. and, and have some fun with it, play for the home runs. So I, 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 I'm into that. Sorry. She didn't mean to cut you off. No, no, that was perfect. I mean, I, I, uh, I listen, but I do have both these teams as as as, as strong stacks. Um, I would prefer Chicago. Big surprise. Um, they just, I think they're better. <laughs> That's what I can describe it. Um, and I think Hendricks is better. Uh, so, uh, who is Ashcraft? That's he's eight K. He's, 8K. Good. he's oh, good. He's good too. Yeah, I mean, he's good. He's got. Well, he's got. He's got. He's got a future. Uh, I'll tell you. I, I believe he does. Anyway, he's been solid so far this year as well. Like he's only really had. He had a. He had a you know, not, nothing where he's really gotten crazy blown up except for against St. Louis. He had a rough one outing against them. Um, oh, and St. Louis and Milwaukee. So he had a couple of rough outings. But, you know, he's, he's put up three, uh, three 24 betters in his last five games. Uh, obviously, I'm not, I'm not going to play him at 8K today, but I'm just throwing it out there. He's got a, enough swing and miss stuff. But I think that Chicago does make a lot of sense. I, I, I have the Cubs as the highest owned team on the slate, by the way. Yeah, I think that's probably accurate as of right now, just because people love the, the win game. Um, and I don't, I still don't think it's going to be a crazy, crazy amount of ownership. And, and at the same time, I, I don't mind that's from, uh, from Cincinnati as well, but I, I just don't, I, I Hendricks has, has definitely had some more blow up games this year, but I still believe that he has the ability to at least keep the game manageable, which is what he's always done. Except, except for the year he almost won the Cy Young where he was better than manageable. Um, I, I, I have Cubs ahead of Cincinnati, but I certainly do like both of these sides of this game and, you know, favorite Cubs bats are probably going to, I mean, Contreras, I think is one of the best plays on the slate is probably the guy you start a cash game with uh, hitting wise uh, wisdom uh, Hap, probably the other best ones. And then the wildness of Christopher Morrell. I think those guys are all, uh, all very interesting. Cubs, Reds, Milwaukee, Toronto, you know, I'm just trying to see who people are going to play here. Um, I don't think it's going to be easy to get to Toronto. That's the, that's the thing. Um, it is if you play Hauser and Hendricks. Hendricks. What? <laughs> it's going to be easy if you get to play Hauser and Hendricks. Well, obviously, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm just kidding around. Uh, okay. All right, we can move on. Um, all right, this uh, we have uh, – okay, so here's the other chalk on the slate, and we have to just talk about Logan Gilbert. Um, Logan Gilbert is really good. Uh, the A's are not very good <laughs> and Logan Gilbert has reasonable, he gets, he occasionally gets a little bit sloppy with his control, but they've given him a leash this year. He's basically throwing, going out there, throwing out quality starts. I think he's had seven in his last eight games. 
This should be another one. Um, yeah, uh, Gilbert and and uh, yeah, Gilbert is is my is my interest in this game. And then I do like a Seattle stack as a contrarian one if you want to go that route. Um, but I don't know that I'm going to end up with them because I like the other stacks we talked about a little better. How about you? Yeah. So I I this is I mean I think Gilbert's kind of a lock here. Um, I, I like him along with uh, with Nola. You got Oakland. It, <laughs> They're back to back, three thousand mile travel. I mean, <laughs> they played yesterday in New York. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair. You know, that's that's rough. Even though it was a day game, um, and they they also let, let, listen. I got nothing against Oakland. They won me they won me fifty thousand dollars last week. <laughs> really, nothing nothing against them. Hey, uh, and, you might, yeah. and they got to tell hey, you listen. They got to tell you I'm pretty good yesterday. Also, mm -hmm. um, they've been they've been they've been they've been playing better, but this is a tough spot and going into Seattle and all that, all that comes with it. Um, I think Logan's pretty safe here. Uh, Logan Gilbert. So I, I, uh, I like that. Um, um, as a matter of fact, I, I have a feeling that if you want to play now that I think about it, if you want to play Severino, for example, I think you're going to get him low owned. Um, I think the Noah Gilbert thing, if, if I'm looking at this, everybody's, I think Gilbert's going to be pretty freaking chalk. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, I agree with you. Um, but I do think Severino, I think, I mean, like they can, they can all be 50%, right. On this kind of a slate. Yep, 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 and yep. That, that's, that's definitely, you know, in within the realm of possibility, but I agree, I would agree that, that Severino ends up a little lower on for what it's worth Severino with the higher K prop, yep. um, probably with the, 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 I don't know, I guess I would, it's hard to say a higher upside against Gilbert because he's really good, but I think higher upside, we, we've been used to playing a lot less than this for Gilbert, but he is, I believe in this guy's talent. I think he, he's, he's, he belongs enough where he is now priced. Um, he's just a very solid pitcher. The problem is you don't really get that. We haven't really seen that crazy ceiling game and he can no. throw This could be it. I mean, this is a great spot for it, but I do like the seven. I, I like the idea of Severino. If he's lower on Gilbert is currently ahead of him for me, I guess. I, I think I wanted to play Severino more, but make a good point with the A's traveling cross country it does feel like a spot where maybe we should uh, just, just play the Gilbert instead. Um, Severino does have the full, the full, strikeout higher prop which is always a little bit interesting to me all right uh let's talk about the dodgers and san diego she's i'm gonna let you start this one off because this is an interesting you have the guy who's clear like running away with the cy young who's going to be low owned for the dodgers now this dodger lineup we've been seeing has not been the dodger lineup that everybody fears which is part of the reason why they haven't been producing and you also have a guy who just struck out one batter in his last outing and may finally be seeing some just regression to being good, but not as elite as he was to start the season. And he finally got hit around as the first time he allowed more than two runs all, in a game all season last time out against Philly. I, I'm all over the place here. So I'm curious what you want to, what you want to do here. Can, 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 will you let me, um, will you let me play uh what you would call it? You let me play Mitch white or no? Absolutely. Okay. I have no problem that, with Mitch. White. That's who I kind of want to play. Um, okay. uh, as opposed to some of those other cheapos that we kind of like, screwed around with um if i wanted to play up to toronto um i i i mean i would you know I, I was thinking of asking your opinion on on mitch white in general um and i'm just looking at his game log i mean you know, five innings five innings, whatever if he's, he's one of those where he pitches five. Five. short leash That's yeah i get it but yeah. he's got a got a weak matchup um and uh he's doing well and you know they're getting the win i mean they'll they'll let him in there for five right to get a w you know what i mean like uh, so maybe you know, he, he, he could have a good game. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to play Musgrove again. Just my, just my whole approach today is just going to attack the tough ta attack, the attack, the easier matchups, you know, um, uh, um, not that Atlanta is an easy, not that what you call it, Atlanta is an easy matchup, whatever. But um, I, I would, I would probably avoid the Severino and the Musgrove against the tougher teams. Um, but like you said, I mean, he's certainly, certainly, uh, certainly has the has it in him. Um, so I'm going to probably just avoid this game, actually, except maybe miss a Mitch one. Yeah, I, um, I'm with the. Uh, I, I can understand that, and I think it's a natural thing to do. The Dodgers also are leaving Colorado, which is huge downgrade for hitters in general. It's just always interesting when the Dodgers are going to be unowned, you know. Um, you know, the second, second scored second most runs in baseball. 
uh, the weather's getting hotter. They should start hitting more, even though I know it hasn't been, hasn't been ideal lately, even in great hitting spots, but I, I, I don't mind Musgrove uh, just with everything considered, but I also don't mind getting to some Dodgers here tonight uh, where I'm not using Musgrove. So I, I don't have a really strong take on this game and I'm fine with white. Uh, Hauser and Hendricks both have a longer leash probably than white does and they're cheaper. And I understand those matchups are also soft ish. Um, so I, I think Mitch white belongs in that conversation, but I, I don't think, you know, those are your spend downs. I think your spend ups are really obvious today. It's Gilbert, Nola, Severino, and then maybe you dabble in some Musgrove if you feel like he's going to stay, you know, well, 10, 10, I, I will say long. this. I mean, the Dodgers are, you know, or it certainly doesn't get any worse for them, you know, and coming from, for, from four games in Colorado against Colorado pitching. To a to a tough to a tougher you know tougher tougher park whatever tougher park and with Musgrove pitching I mean it's that's you know doesn't get a lot better a lot worse than that so um, so yeah maybe Musgrove is in play that's that's maybe not the worst idea for him yeah yeah I, it makes uh, I, I do I do think that that's a good spot for him if you if you just factor you know take away the Dodger name and then also you don't know who's going to be end up being playing for the Dodgers it's a Thursday maybe you get Barnes in the lineup not Will Smith. Maybe you just, you just don't know for sure. The Dodgers have shaken up the lineup a few times recently. And uh, yeah, so I, I, as of right now, I've got, um, I've got Gilbert and Nola as clearly the, the top two with Severino right there. And then if I'm going to go down, I'm probably going to do the Hauser Hendricks thing with a little bit of white. Uh, my stacks, I like the Milwaukee. I like Pittsburgh mini. I like a mini Toronto. I like the Cubs and I like a mini Reds. Those are where I've, sort of at right now uh, and i'll have more for you guys at five eastern sheets what else you all got right. uh that's all i got all right um all right guys well uh let's let's uh let's make some money tonight hopefully we'll see yep. sheets at five if not you'll definitely see me yep and uh let's have a big day sounds good all right let's end june strong good luck everybody all right. All right.